and welcome to the first ever episode of Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit more informal than episodes I plan on doing in the future and with some less editing. Because today I just want to start us off by showing you some of my sketches thus far and introducing you to the characters uh, that you'll be hearing stories about on this channel. And then maybe later I'll be sketching a quick comic uh, to introduce you to a few of the characters from uh, the campaign idea. This right here is uh, some of the first sketches uh, of Sylvan's character, um, who is a uh, charming fox rogue. Here's what the uh, final version of that sketch looked like. Um, I edited this further on my computer, and I'll show that on the screen as well. This was an earlier version of my sketch of Anya, uh, the angelic cleric from our party. Um, I didn't end up using this uh, version of the sketch. As you can see, I couldn't quite get the arm right here. Um, I liked the wings and the position. I, I liked what I did with the hair. But overall, uh, I ended up redoing it. She was supposed to be raising a scimitar in the air there. And uh, I'll show you what the final version of Anya ended up looking like here. Here we have Darnier, my friend Evan's character. Uh, he was a racist dwarf. Um, believed in uh, dwarf superiority, um, and he had a symbol burned into his axe that he would use to uh, brand people. Uh, not the nicest fellow, uh, but a pretty interesting character, uh, and it resulted in some pretty uh, wild situations in the campaign. This was not the version I ended up using. Uh, this one had the horns on the helmet and it had a more flat axe. Uh, I like the beard here. I think this one, the beard here turned out better than the final version, but otherwise the final version Better. Here's the final version. This one I think actually turned out pretty good. Um, this is Zephyr, who is my friend Jaren's character. He's a um, tiefling, so he has a demon in his head, uh, represented here by the shadow, uh, which is shown to be a little different than his actual shadow with the curled tail and the scythe showing up here. He used Gauntlets of the Weapon Master uh, to spawn in weapons into his hands magically. Uh, and goggles of true sight and i worked a lot of his armor pieces in here I, I i found a couple interesting designs and combined their ideas of uh armor that i found online uh overall i think this one turned out pretty good this was one of my sketches for jaren's other character Aaron, from the first campaign who later returned in the second campaign we did um, he was a uh Venaro, which is basically a monkey folk, uh, and he was very heavily inspired by Dragon Ball Z, as you might imagine, so um, when I drew his character, I had the traditional uh, Dragon Ball Z style power pose and everything. Um, I couldn't get the details on the face right, uh, and such a small scale here, so I ended up uh, doing the face separately over here, and then in the final version, which I'll show you after this, I copied the face and put it over on this one, and then uh, traced it into the final colored version. This right here, uh, I might have to turn this video sideways, I don't think it'll all fit on the screen this way, um, was uh, my friend Evan's character who is a necromancer, um, and you can see I had to do the hands separately, and then uh, a, lo a lot of this was edited for the final version to put everything together, because uh, this drawing, I, I liked this part of this drawing, but the the arm I kind of messed up, and that I had to fix in post. That's Zan. Here's one of my most recent drawings. Um, this one I'm very proud of, uh, and you can see it's a much better quality than most of the other ones. As this is designed to be the final version of it, I didn't do any uh, editing on, on digital software. This was this was what it was supposed to be. This is Pure Insighto Ignatus, um, whose name translates to Plain Sight. He was a character in a long-running campaign run by my friend, uh, Nathan. He was my player character, and uh, this was during a five-year gap that happened during the campaign um, when he was sort of left to wander aimlessly. Uh, and so he gained the title The Lost Hunter. And I'll talk more about him in the future, because uh, he's one of, I think he's probably my favorite character. Uh, that we're going to be talking about. He was part of a campaign that recently concluded, and so I have a, I have a lot of stories fresh in my mind about him. Here we have Kamul. Um, he's a Drake rider 
inspired by uh, the Nazgul's from Lord of the Rings, uh, the Ring Wraiths. Uh, this was my friend AJ's character. He was briefly part of our campaign, uh, ended up leaving, but uh, I think this one turned out pretty decent. As you can see, uh, there was some mess ups here and there I did in the pen, uh, but the final version I fixed most of those and I think it turned out pretty good. Let me see if I can find, here it is, my most recent sketch, um, a drawing of a character for an upcoming campaign run by my friend Jacob, uh, the same one who played Anya in the campaign IDM. Um, he's a gunslinger, he's actually, actually he's not the class gunslinger, he's a rogue, so it's a little mechanically weird, but uh, his whole idea is that uh, his family was killed and he's out for revenge. He's, uh, and anything that won't benefit him, he's not particularly interested in. Uh, he has a little pet ermine, which I've drawn up here. This is actually the final version of this one. Uh, I didn't do a digital version of it. I actually recently drew this one. And you'll probably be hearing stories about this character as well, but that'll all, uh, that'll all depend on how the campaign goes. We haven't actually started yet, so I'm excited to start that one. And that's it for what I have in this sketchbook. Um, I have a couple other things that I had to pull out of my other sketchbook that got a little water damage, so they're not in the best condition. But uh, what I have here, this is something I drew for a Let's Play uh, where I was playing Dark Souls, uh, thus the Sullivan's Beast, while cosplaying as Sephiroth. And uh, I thought this one turned out pretty cool. I, I like this one a lot. Not a D&D themed thing, but Dark Souls is heavily inspired by D&D. And I'm pretty proud of this drawing, so I wanted to show it. And finally, we have, now this is one of my earlier drawings, so it's not, it's not quite up to the same level of quality, and it's a little excessively edgy, and uh, I don't, I don't do much color anymore, uh, but this one's, this one's in color, uh, or rather selective color, which is something I used to do a lot of, um, and as you can see, the water damage at this one particularly hard, but uh, hopefully you can see what I was going for here. This was Alistair, it's actually uh, Purin's father. Um, and he was the my player character in Nathan's first campaign. I like him as a character a lot, but he was more he, he was fun to play, and there's a lot of wacky fun stories with him. Uh, but overall, I think Purin turned out to be a more complex and interesting character than Alistair ever did. Um, he had a lot of he had a lot of pets, as you can see here, and you'll hear stories of how he got those and what ended up happening to them eventually. This was one that I actually started with uh, just a little sketch of him, and I gradually added more to it as the campaign went on. Um, like, this cloak wasn't originally part of this drawing. It's something I added later on when I got a cloak. That's all of my sketches. Now we're going to... Uh, I'm going to do another quick sketch, and what you'll see from here on out will be closer to the format that I intend on doing the rest of the series in. Um, but it will be a little bit shorter. For the second half of this episode today, I'm going to be doing a quick sketch, nothing particularly fancy, just a little comic, uh, inspired by a post from Tumblr user King Nerdlord that I think appropriately fits a couple characters from the campaign idea. Uh, now in this little comic, there's going to be four characters. The first you'll see me draw here is named Tenebra. She is a shadow being, uh, very impish, and a companion to Kalis, one of the player characters. Throughout the first campaign and into the second one, she granted some small bit of shadow power to Kalis, uh, like traveling through shadows. The second character you will see is named Illumina. This is Kalis's unofficial daughter. She's not really his daughter. Um, she was summoned in from the shadow plane in a dark ritual when Kalis attempted to pull his family out of the shadow plane where they were trapped, and has been raised as his daughter ever since. The third character is, of course, Kalis, and he is the one here speaking in the first panel. And because of all of these uh, companions he's accumulated during his quests, it makes sense he sees them as a sort of family. And by the start of the second campaign, Kalis was nearly middle-aged, so... He was in a sort of father-like position to Lumina. The fourth and final character you see here is Zan, uh, my friend Evan's character, 
who is a necromancer. Funny enough, a lawful good necromancer um, who often made a point of vying for the rights of undead as if they were sentient normal people themselves. And so I thought this little comic idea of the two of them having this small exchange was quite befitting of these guys and pretty funny. So there's that. All right, thank you for watching. And uh, join us next time, because I've got a lot more really great stories to tell about these characters and many more. That's all for today. If you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. All comments and criticism are appreciated, and I've got pretty thick skin. So if you don't like this video, go ahead and tell me. But be sure to share this video with your friends so they can tell me too.